guys welcome back to my channel it's me demi welcome back to another weekly rant y'all know every week i talk about nonsense in my life this week i'm talking about a little bit of both of those i want to start this video off by saying please keep voting for princess um we actually made it to top 15 <laughs> so excited about that so if we win if me and Princess win, we get $5,000 and she will be featured in a magazine. So with the $5,000, I plan on giving away $500 or $1,000, depending on how much they tax me if I win. But I want to give like 20 people $50. So my most engaged subscribers, y'all will definitely be getting that $50 from me if I win. So please keep voting for Princess. Y'all yeah, know I'm trying to pay off my credit cards and that $5,000 is definitely going to come in handy. Here's some cute pictures or video or something of her right here i'm gonna leave the link in the description box i'll also put it in a pinned comment um it's completely free all you need is a facebook page and you can vote every single day so please 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 vote for her voting is until april and i know it gets super annoying with me asking you guys to vote for her every single day or every single week but i'm just annoyed having to ask you guys to vote for her like I can't believe that the contest is for so long. Like, it's very annoying for me to have to tell people to vote for her every single day. And I gotta keep doing this till April? Till April? This is annoying. So, I'm really sorry if I annoy you guys, but I keep telling you guys to vote. But I really want to win. Like, this money could clear my credit card debt. So, let's hope that we win. Um, anyways, I hope you guys are doing good. I hope you guys are doing well. This morning, I watched my girl Ebony's video. She puts out a video every Friday. Hey, Ebony. Um, and she was just like connecting to my soul. First of all, I feel like every time she comes out with a video, my videos are like super similar to hers. Like I'm not intentionally copying her content, but I just feel like we're here. Like we're like so similar. And she was talking about a lot of different things. Um, one of the things she mentioned is about how rent prices constantly go up every single year. Although there's nothing extra that you're getting in your apartment. Like my rent goes up every single year. And the thing is, I live in the slumps, not the slump slumps, but kind of the slumpy slump. Like it's kind of slumpy. There are no type of extra things that I'm getting for my rent going up. Like this year, I think I'm paying an extra $10 and I still can't get my toilet fixed. I still can't get my tub fixed. Like why am I paying more and getting like nothing in return? Um, and she was saying how it's about market rent and all of that. But still, just like her, I ain't trying to hear it. Um, go watch her video, see what she be talking about. Um, she has really nice chill videos. I love her channel. But yeah. This is a problem. This is really a problem. Like, I can't even imagine how much rent prices are going to be in 10 years. I think I was talking about that last week. But anyways, I also want to say, yeah, I know I come on here and complain a lot. But just because I complain about stuff don't mean that I'm not grateful for the things that I have. Like, I know I am extremely fortunate. I know I'm extremely blessed to have a lot of the things that I do have. But I feel like it's okay to be grateful and appreciative of what you have and still want more. Like, just because I want more doesn't mean that I'm not grateful for what I already have, if that makes sense. Because I know, like, every time I say how I want more, people are just like, oh, some people have it worse. Some people doing this, some people doing that. I don't care what people are doing. I am living life based on my perspective. This is my life, my journey. Like, because there are starving kids in Africa, I think I mentioned this before, just because there are starving kids in Africa, that's not supposed to make me feel better about my life. And why is always the kids in Africa being referenced? There's a lot of kids in Africa that's not starving. Like, let's stop talking about Africa and I'm being starving because the whole country is not starving. The whole country is not struck in with poverty. Let's just stop bringing up Africa and situations that have nothing to do with Africa. Um, I know there's a lot going on in the world. Like, yeah, I see what's happening over in Ukraine. Russia is over there bullying Ukraine. And this is very scary. It's very, very scary. So I'm glad that we don't live in a place that gets bombed and stuff like that. I, I don't even know what to say because politics, politics is so evil. Like politics is very evil. I can't imagine waking up to bombs and being bombed or having your whole family killed because of a war that has nothing to do with you. Like this is about governments having conflict with each other and the civilians are just getting caught in the crossfire. And it's just, it's very scary to think about um I can't really speak too much on the topic because I don't really know what's going on I try to stay out of those kind of things but I'll keep Ukraine in y'all prayers and I think Joe Byron 
he joe biden i think joe biden said he was going to do something but i know uh the president of russia said if anybody intervenes or anybody do something they're going to have consequences that their country has never seen before so i'm just like we need to just stay over here and mind our business and i know we can't really do that because ukraine is our ally and nato and treaties and things like that but it's scary like it's really scary i hope that world world three is not emerging it probably is emerging and i just don't know anything about it but i don't want to talk about that no more because i'm scared i'm really scared and you should be scared too we all should be scared and we should just all hug each other because that's why that's crazy like it's just too much stuff happening anyway um i also want to talk about uh the crumblies so i touched on it some rants ago about how so the crumblies it's the boy who's like 16 or 15. He's the one who shot up his school. His parents bought him the gun or whatever. I've been following this case, not as closely as I want to, but I've been like watching the, when they go to court and stuff like that. Y'all, they be streaming it live. They be streaming it live on YouTube. And there's like a little chat box of other people watching it and you can like talk to them. That's very entertaining. Like, I know what he did was terrible. What the parents did is terrible. But the chat box is very entertaining. Like to talk to someone about the case while it's happening right in front of you. Like it's very entertaining. Um, so they're trying to charge the parents with manslaughter, of course. And I think that they're absolutely 100% guilty because so much stuff came out in the courtroom. Let me tell y'all. Let me tell y'all. First of all, the little boy was all sitting up here killing animals. He killed a bird and left the head in his room for months without his mama finding it. His mama almost found it, but she didn't. But yeah, he over here killing animals. Um, he asked about his fan mail while he was in jail. Like, when am I going to get my fan mail? I want to hear from people that support me and love me, all this kind of stuff. What? Who's supporting a school shooter? Like, what? what is y'all talking about? I don't understand it. And um, also, so yeah, little boy is a psychopath. Um, they trying to figure out if they want to send him to, if they want to keep it in juvie jail or go to adult jail. Now, they're like, okay, if we send him to juvie jail, we can't protect the other kids from him because this man is really a danger. But then they're like, if he goes to adult jail, we can't protect him from the adults because the adults are a danger to him. So they like trying to figure out where is he going to go. I mean, I really don't want to put him in jail with those other kids because clearly he don't like kids. <laughs> like this man do not like kids and I don't want him to harm the other kids that's in the jail. Like I think he should go go to adult jail because clearly his mind is sophisticated enough to carry out this plan. Like he was planning this attack. Yo, I was watching the, the thing on live and I forgot who was on the stand, but he had a journal. The journey how the journal had to be like 30 pages. Every single page of the journal was him planning the freaking attack. He was talking about it every single day. He was hyped up to do it. He wanted to do it. He was planning it. This man is a murderer, a criminal, a psychopath, a narcissistic man. He is everything that is bad. Send him, lock him up, throw away the key. On the side of the parents, the parents being guilty, I think 100% go to jail too. Don't collect $100. He told, he asked his mom to take him to jail. I mean, he asked his mom to take him to the doctor and she laughed at him and was just like, suck it up. He kept like trying to tell his parents that he wanted to go to the doctor and they were just like, no, they were giving him pills that was making him hallucinate. He was telling them about the hallucinations and they were just like, LOL, you tripping. You're not going to the doctor. You don't need none of that. So his parents definitely failed him. The school definitely failed him. Speaking of the school, so the day of the shooting, the school counselor brought the mom in and it was like, oh, your son is mentally ill. He needs to seek mental help immediately. He was thinking that, the school counselor was thinking that the mama was going to take him out from school and get him some mental help. But she like, nah, he good. He going to be all right. I got to go back to work. I'm not taking him with me. He going to stay here. And just three hours later, your boy was shooting up the school. So if she had taken her son from the school, this shooting probably would have never happened. I mean... I don't know if it would have never happened. It probably wouldn't have happened that day. Because like I said, he had this journal where he was about his business. Like he was ready to shoot up the school without a question. But his parents definitely neglected him and didn't like care for him in a way that they should have. And get this, when they found the gun, when, they, when the cops came to the parent's house to find the gun, the gun was in a freaking, uh, cause you know, you're supposed to keep your firearm safe. It's supposed to be like in a safe, locked up with a key, with a combination, something like that. 
But when they found, when the cops went to the Crumbies house and uh, found the gun or whatever, the, the gun wasn't there, of course, because the boy used it to shoot up the school. They found the case that the gun was supposed to be in. It was a plastic case. It was a plastic case. Like, it wasn't no type of heavy duty metal or nothing on it. It was a plastic case and it did have a combination lock on it, but the combination was 0000. zero, zero, zero. Now, I don't know if they made that code or was that just a default code because they didn't set a code. Either way, the parents are complicit because this gun was clearly not kept safe, not not kept protected. Anybody could have really went in there and took that gun. So the parents, I'm not really digging the parents right now. These is not my peoples. They need to go to jail with their son. Let the whole family just go to jail because they are monsters. That's all I really had to say for today. I wanna let y'all know that my channel my channel my channel we reached 800 subscribers on friday and today is sunday and now we got 804 subscribers so i'm really happy about that like we're going to be at a thousand in no time but if you're watching this and it's the first video you're watching of mine please watch some of my other videos too because some people are just not watching my content like i feel like since my subscribers are going up, I thought more people would watch my videos, but it doesn't seem to be the case. My views are pretty low right now, and I'm kind of disappointed in that, but I'm grateful that y'all watch it because listen, if 20 of y'all watch my video, I'm happy. But at the same time, if I have 800 subscribers, why only 20 of y'all watching the video? And I'm always asking y'all for suggestions of what y'all want to see, and y'all be telling me nothing. So tell me what y'all want to see on my channel so I can make that content for y'all. But um, yeah, please subscribe to my channel. Please watch my videos if you're going to subscribe. Do not subscribe to my channel if this is the only video you're going to watch and you're going to watch some more videos. Like if you really don't mess with my channel, don't subscribe then. It doesn't hurt my feelings. It hurts my feelings when you subscribe and then don't watch my videos. Like that's trifling. That's really, really trifling. <laughs> but thank you guys all for watching my video. And thank you guys for your all continued support. Please don't forget to vote for Princess. And like I said, voting is free. But actually today, if you vote money, it counts as two votes. So if you donate $10, it'll count as 10 votes. But today, it'll actually be 20 votes. I mean, I'm not really, I don't really want to tell y'all to spend y'all money because I don't want, I'm not really trying to buy votes. But if you just vote for her, that'll do it for me. You just need a Facebook account. It's completely free and you can vote every single day. So I will put the link in the description box and it'll be in a pinned comment too. Um, thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.